Are you thinking about studying computer science, but you're not sure if it's a good option for you? Well, in an effort to give you all the information you need to make that decision, here is five reasons why you should not study computer science. Computer science is a degree that can open doors and set the foundation for a monumental success in your life, but it's not for everyone. For me, I have been programming for the last seven years and I have a degree in computer science. Now, here are a couple things that I would let anyone know before they tackle the challenge of becoming a computer science major. So first off, we have reason number one, and that is you don't use all of your studied topics in the real world. Computer science is a very challenging degree. You will face long nights of studying and working on challenging projects that will force you to grow as both an individual and as a student. While you're in school, you will learn both computer theory and practical application, but not everything you learn will translate into your future career. There are several classes that I am 100% positive that will never translate into my day-to-day -day work. An example of of a class that I took is automata theory. The class taught me how to design abstract machines and also the theory behind defining a programming language. Now, if I lost you on that last sentence, don't worry, that class is a perfect example of something that not all programmers use. Keeping that in mind, there are some things that you will take throughout your time in the computer science field. One example is the sheer amount of numbers you spend behind a computer. So that brings us to reason number two, which is you're sitting at a computer a lot. In the sad reality of becoming a programmer, there is a high chance that you will develop arthritis and at some point you will need glasses. So where do these health issues come from? They're coming from the time you spend clicking away on your keyboard sitting at your desk. As I have mentioned many times before on my social media, I love what I do and I have a self-rising desk and a more ergonomic solution to my desk setup. But regardless, there is no escaping the need to look at your computer for hours on end. I believe that working in a computer science related field can be very dynamic, but maybe if you're a hands-on person that needs to be constantly moving, maybe it's not for you. Another reason not to study computer science simply might be that you're already in an established job. So this brings us to reason number three, which is your job is already established. Imagine that you wake up every day and you go to a job that pays well and you actually enjoy it. You might feel the need to go to school and get a degree just so you can check it off your life's bucket list. You might already have a degree in something, but you're just looking for a more prestigious title to put on your resume. Although those would be very reasonable reasons to do something, sometimes they're not the right decision for everyone. When I was getting my degree, I attended classes with a number of people who had established jobs that they already enjoyed. And somehow those people had convinced themselves that they would benefit by going back to school and studying computer science. For some, going back to school and getting a different degree was a great choice. However, other people that I attended school with didn't go into a tech-related field, or they landed a job that could have been obtained without a computer science degree. If getting a degree or a second degree isn't going to benefit you in some way, then maybe you shouldn't study computer science. As I mentioned, a computer science degree is difficult, and saving yourself the financial and emotional stresses might be the right choice for you. So this brings us to reason number four, which is you hate learning. As I mentioned before, computer science is a difficult degree and I cannot emphasize that enough. You can do this, but perhaps you shouldn't if the thought of typing thousands of lines of code and reading through textbook after textbook and documentation doesn't interest you. What I'm saying is if you don't have a passion for continued learning or you just hate school, computer science isn't for you. When I was in college, there were several times that I had to work on projects with both a partner and a team. On such an occasion, I would be partnered up with a person or many people who hated learning and had cheated and faked their way throughout their entire degree. Working with those types of people is a complete nightmare. Sure, in some cases they can be nice, but those types of people are just simply not putting in their time and effort to accomplish their work. And computer science isn't a degree that you can just cheat and hope for a good outcome. If you choose computer science, you will have to study and be diligent with your work ethic and your study habits. If you don't, you will be exposed and if it doesn't happen while you're in school, it'll just happen in the workforce. And honestly, I don't want that to happen to you. So if learning and school are some of your least favorite things, 
maybe you should get a different degree. All right, guys, now we're down to our last reason, which is reason number five, and that is you just simply want to code. As we have covered before, there are many reasons why someone should not get a degree in computer science. And there is nothing wrong with going into a different direction. One of the most common reasons not to get a computer science degree that I actually see pretty often is that people are already programmers or they're working in the IT industry with certifications. Not everyone that works in a computer science related field needs a degree. And honestly, there are so many different options of how you can get into a computer science related job that makes good money and doesn't require tens of thousands of dollars of student debt. So maybe doing a coding bootcamp is the right option for you. I know people who go into these coding boot camps and are hired immediately after they receive their certification. Just keep that in mind that there are plenty of different pathways to go down and you just need to choose the best one for you. So guys, I cannot emphasize enough how much getting a computer science degree is an amazing choice and can make your life so much better. But keeping that in mind, you have to make your own decisions. And sometimes getting a fancy degree at a job that you hate isn't worth it. So be sure to review every option that's available to you before you jump into this decision. I gotta say, thank you so much for watching this. I hope this video gives you more information to help you decide if computer science is for you or not. If you want to know why I think you should study computer science, go ahead and check out my video of five reasons why you should study computer science. And I will see you all next week with more tech-related content. Bye!